Welcome to the updated turtle pond. <laughs> also, before we get started, speaking of turtles, Franklin pins are still available. I think about half of them have sold so far. I don't know if I'm gonna order more, so <laughs> check them out with the link in the description. I don't know why I'm in here with Franklin. I could have just as easily done this on the other side of this piece of metal. But uh, I've made quite a few changes to his tub here that I think are pretty cool, kind of interesting. So uh, I thought I'd give you a little tour of them. So if you didn't know, Franklin used to be in a baby pool. That's what he grew up in for the first 10 years or so of his life. I did some free roaming with him in the room, which I regretted and stopped doing uh, a number of months ago. And then I got him a 170 gallon tub. Uh, it's, it's pretty big, but it was also pretty ugly and plain. So here are some of the things that I've added to it that will go over and I'll talk about where I got it and everything if you're interested in doing something similar. Firstly, stones. Uh, they're, they're stones. Second, a brand new basking spot because the Zoomed style basking spots are not strong enough to hold his fat body. Third, some new lighting right above me right here and a nice LED strip. Uh, and fourth, I painted the front and put all this bamboo. It looks cheesier than I expected, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'll just embrace the cheese with that, but uh, what else? Oh, and a brand new filter. I've got him upgraded to the Cascade filter, which is created for about 100 gallons compared to the 40 gallon he had before. So hopefully Franklin's been enjoying it. He really does not seem to miss free roaming. I let him walk around the room like twice a week when I'm just like cleaning or whatever. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is this basking spot. Oh, and the timer just went off. This basking spot is made from egg crate and is covered in fake turf. I just cut it to shape how I needed it, zip tied it all together, and used some suction cups and support with more plastic to keep it floating. So this makes up about a quarter of the surface space in the enclosure. He can swim beneath it from one side to the other, and there's a pretty nicely sized ramp that he can get up no problem. It took him about a month to get used to it, not a month, a week to get used to it, and then he's been basking just fine ever since. There's a lot more space so he can walk around on it, and he can choose his temperature, whether he wants to be super hot. I wish I could be super hot right now. Right under the lamp, or he can move away from it. <laughs> So the process of changing the water is kind of a pain. I changed it about 10 minutes ago, and it was the first time I changed it in a little while. Um, basically I have to feed a filter through the window, uh, which dumps all the water out just like down to the concrete. And I took all the rocks out to do it which was kind of a pain, but uh, the rocks look nice, so I think it's worth it. And then once it's all drained, I put a hose through the window back in and filled it back up. I don't think I recorded that part, but you can just imagine a hose through a window filling a tub, and that's how I did it. Then I just added a bunch of rep to safe. I didn't fill it all the way. I don't, never do because I do not want to exceed the weight limit of a second story home. Now to filter all this water, I'm using a Cascade filter. It's made for 100 gallons, which there's probably like 120 gallons of water in here or something, and it works just fine. I could always get another if I had to, but I don't think I need to. It keeps it quite clean for a pretty good number of weeks. I have all the products I'm using linked in a brand new kit called the Franklin Kit or the Turtle Kit or something um, that you can check out if you want to see that. And next up, I have this ni nice, arguably, debatably, um, subjectively nice, it was just like plain silver before and it was pretty ugly. So I was like, what could I put on it? Lots of you gave suggestions. I didn't use any of your suggestions. <laughs> but uh, I did film the creation of this. So, initiate montage. So basically I painted the entire thing black with acrylic paint. Uh, once I did that, I got bamboo and cut it in half and taped it and put fake plants through it. That's pretty much it, pretty simple. And it, it looks kind of weird, but it looks better than it did before, so I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cool. 
just not exactly what I imagined. I thought it would look a little more fancy, and now it just looks more like a DIY project, which is what it is, so I'll just embrace it. And then also that light right above me, it's just, it was like 12 bucks also from Home Depot. Uh, it's just like an LED strip. It doesn't let off any heat, which is nice, because I don't need the room to be any hotter than it already is. And it just adds some nice ambient lighting to the tank, because it's quite dark without it. And then the stones, also from Home Depot. Probably don't want to get those on Amazon, because they are heavy. I got, mm, I think, 120 pounds of stones in here, and it was like four bags of them, that was like 40 bucks. So, yeah, that looked pretty nice. This was, this was not very cheap. So Franklin's pretty much continuously moving around in here. Um, and, I mean, he has the space too. He will definitely bask for a number of hours, but at night, and like right before he goes to sleep, he'll do a nice number of laps, and he splashes... He, he makes very big splashes for about C1. That was a pretty lame splash, actually. Is, is this awkward bonding time or what? Okay. I am impressed by this dock. If I sat on it, I don't think it would hold, but uh, it can definitely hold Franklin's weight. I, I was scared it would collapse. You can see it sunk down here because it sunk while I was cleaning it. Uh, I just need to pull that suction cut back up and it'll be flat again. Franklin is caressing my leg. Well, I kind of just wanted this to be a bit of an update video to show you what's going on with Franklin's enclosure. I have a new activity to do on my weekends. I don't, I, I don't personally plan on doing this again, but mm, tune in next week to see what it's like to have salmonella, I guess. Surprisingly, he hasn't bit me yet. Would it be, oh, should I feed him with me in here? This is just weird. Well, there we go. Uh, as Franklin disappears under the cave. That's the update video. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see more Franklin or what other animals you want to see. Remember, Franklin pins, now available. Or, they have been available for a while, but still available if you want to grab one. So, uh, people that say that sliders are cheap and easy, I mean, you don't have to, like, get a bunch of extra lighting and put bamboo around it, but still, this costed me more money than I was hoping overall with the basking and the tub itself for the proper size and everything. So, uh, it's fun, but demanding. So I'll enjoy my swim. <laughs> and, uh, that'll be it for this update video on the little turtle tub. I have, speaking of turtles, the next bioactive enclosure is almost completely done being made. The, the video will take a while to edit, but, um, I think I'm stuttering from the cold. It'll take a while to edit. I still don't have the plants in there, but once the plants are in, and once I finish shooting and editing, that'll be up. Might be the next video. Probably not. Don't count on it. Um, if you're watching this like a year after it was uploaded, then it is up, hopefully, unless something went wrong, or like I died in this cold of water. But that's Franklin. Where to go? But somewhere over there is Franklin. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah! Ooh boy! Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh, why am I doing this? A little face pad never hurt.